Today, November 20, 2023, Nikola CFO announces resignation. Nikola lost its CFO a few weeks after reporting a huge third quarter loss. Nikola CFO Anastasia Pastrick is resigning effective December 1. The company is recalling battery operated trucks and only has a few months of hydrogen fuel available. The battery and hydrogen industries both face a technology update. Nikola, NASDAQ NKLA, which has been trying to commercialize hydrogen and battery fueled semi trucks, saw its chief financial officer resign after a disappointing earnings report. Anastasia Pastrick said she will resign effective December 1. Finance will then report to CEO Stephen Gursky. Nikola's stock was set to open for trade this morning at about $1.03 per share, a market capitalization of $1.05 billion. Bad news gets worse. Nikola reported on November 2 that it lost $425 million, 50 cents per share, during the quarter ending in October, delivering just three vehicles during the period. The company issued a recall on its battery-powered trucks in August, at a cost then estimated at $61.8 million. After its existing inventory is sold and paid for in early 2024, the net loss is now estimated at $38.1 million. Nikola is now focused on hydrogen-fueled trucks. It says it has enough hydrogen supply to get into early 2024. On November 20th, Nikola stock was trading around the same price it was just before the earnings news came out. I warned in August after CEO Michael Loescheller resigned and the recall was announced, that the company's future was in doubt. The warning was repeated later that month. Nikola has lost 69% of its value since August 3rd. Nikola founder Trevor Milton, who was convicted of fraud last year over his promotion of the company, is due to be sentenced on November 28. Despite all the bad news, some analysts still support the stock. They insist the production of battery-powered trucks will restart and that the hydrogen-powered trucks can succeed. What happens next? Lithium-ion batteries may not have enough energy density to power 18-wheelers. And hydrogen supplies are under pressure after plug power reported it may have to shut down. Both industries face a reckoning with their past and an overhaul of their basic technology for the future.